In 1966, a groundbreaking TV series hit the screens, paving the way for a new era of espionage thrillers. With its ingenious plots and nail-biting suspense, Mission Impossible quickly became a household name. Wondering what makes this classic endure the test of time? Stay tuned because we've got a slew of funny, shocking, and even somber facts lined up that will keep you glued to the screen. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? Do you have a cherished memory associated with it? Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this series in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. So buckle up for a journey through the twists and turns of Mission Impossible and let the memories flow. Mission Impossible, a television series that debuted in 1966, quickly became a cultural phenomenon, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. Praised for its innovative concept, the show centered around a team of secret agents undertaking covert missions with a distinct emphasis on intricate plots and high-stakes scenarios. During its time, it received widespread acclaim, captivating audiences with suspenseful narratives and compelling characters. The impact on popular culture was profound as it introduced a new level of sophistication to the spy genre. Its innovative use of disguises, intricate heists, and clever problem-solving set a standard for espionage-themed storytelling. The iconic theme music and the memorable opening sequence featuring self-destructing messages added to its allure, making it a cultural touchstone of its era. In the wake of its success, the show spawned several adaptations, including a revival in the late 80s and a blockbuster film franchise in the 90s. These adaptations continued to resonate with audiences, showcasing the enduring appeal of the original concept. The series also led to the development of a diverse range of merchandise, from action figures to spy-themed board games, further solidifying its influence on the entertainment market. The enduring legacy is evident in its continued cultural relevance. Its impact on the spy genre is immeasurable, with subsequent TV series and films drawing inspiration from its formula. The intricate missions, the ensemble cast dynamic, and the emphasis on intelligence and strategy all became hallmarks that future spy-themed productions sought to replicate. In conclusion, its reception during its time and its lasting impact on popular culture are undeniable. The innovative approach to storytelling, memorable characters, and iconic elements have left an indelible mark that continues to influence the entertainment landscape. Whether through spin-offs, adaptations, or merchandise, it remains a testament to the enduring power of a well-crafted and influential television series. Behind-the-scenes stories unveiling the intriguing production of the 1966 TV series, creating the iconic 1966 TV series posed numerous challenges and showcased the incredible dedication of the talented cast and crew. One captivating behind-the-scenes story revolves around the audacious stunts orchestrated by the stunt coordinator, who often pushed the boundaries of what was deemed possible in the television landscape at that time. In one particular episode, a daring high-wire act was devised that left the entire crew in awe. The scene required traversing a skyscraper on a thin wire, adding an extra layer of suspense to the already thrilling narrative. The meticulous planning and fearless execution of this stunt became a testament to the commitment of the production team, contributing to the series' lasting legacy. Another noteworthy anecdote involves the ingenious improvisation of the actors during unexpected mishaps. In a scene where they had to discreetly infiltrate a lavish party, a prop malfunctioned, threatening to expose their covert operation. Quick thinking by the cast turned this potentially disastrous situation into a comedic blooper that not only lightened the atmosphere on set, but also added a touch of humor to the final cut. The collaborative spirit among the crew members is exemplified by the innovative set design that defined the show's aesthetic. The production designer, known for attention to detail, crafted elaborate and realistic environments immersing the audience in the clandestine world of the series. His ability to transform ordinary spaces into extraordinary backdrops became a hallmark of the show, elevating it beyond the conventions of its time. Amidst the challenges and creative triumphs, the camaraderie among the cast and crew became a defining feature of the production. The shared passion for delivering a compelling and groundbreaking show fostered an environment where everyone's contribution was valued, creating a collaborative tapestry of talent that resonated with audiences for generations. 
In conclusion, the behind-the-scenes stories of the 1966 TV series offer a glimpse into the dedication, creativity, and camaraderie that shaped this groundbreaking show. From daring stunts to spontaneous improvisations, each anecdote adds depth to the appreciation of the series and its enduring impact on television history. Roland Hand, recognized as the man of a million faces due to his adept use of disguises, played a pivotal role in the 1966 TV series. The show adopted a common practice of reusing actors and actresses such as John Vernon and William Wyndham, reflecting a trend in 1960s television. Interestingly, it outlasted other spy series of its time, like The Man from Uncle, Secret Agent, Get Smart, and The Wild Wild West, until its cancellation in 1973. This marked the conclusion of the 1960s spy series craze. All information is meticulously sourced from a reputable website, ensuring accuracy and reliability. Pasadena City Hall in Pasadena, California frequently served as a foreign capital building in Mission Impossible. This clever use of locations added a realistic touch to the series. Peter Lupus, known in Europe as Rock Stevens in Muscleman movies, found a new identity in the series. This marked a shift from his previous roles, heavily reliant on physique to a character where his acting skills took the forefront, allowing him to work under his own name. A unique aspect of agent selection was the use of color photos for chosen agents and black and white for rejected ones. This distinctive approach added a visual element to the mission briefing process. All these details are sourced from a reputable website, ensuring accuracy and reliability in the information provided. In the realm of covert operations, Mission Impossible, known for its clever storytelling, employed unique elements in its mission briefings. Out of the 148 missions, 119 commenced with a straightforward good morning, 21 with good afternoon, and 8 with good evening. This consistent approach added a distinctive rhythm to the series. In the second episode of the first season, titled Memory, a deviation occurred as Briggs received his instructions, not through the usual tape or film strip projector, but on a simple card handed to him by a photographer. This departure showcased the show's versatility in narrative techniques. Throughout the series, a recognizable white archway with a metal gate frequently served as a prison entrance. Surprisingly, this imposing structure was the old main gate at Paramount Pictures Studios, where the series found its backdrop, providing an interesting link between fiction and reality. These insights, gleaned from a reliable source, illuminate the pragmatic yet intriguing aspects of Mission Impossible. Such meticulous details in mission briefings and set choices contributed to the series' authenticity and appeal, marking its distinct place in television history. Lalo Skifrin's distinctive score for the series, played in an unusual 54 times signature, echoed the style of Dave Brubeck's Take 5. This composition achieved notoriety, becoming one of the most parodied theme music, closely rivaling the Twilight Zone's eerie leitmotif trill. In Season 5, producers contemplated replacing Peter Lupus with Sam Elliott due to perceived acting limitations. Fans, however, vehemently opposed the change, resulting in Lupus remaining in the series. Elliott made sporadic appearances in Season 5 and a solitary episode in Season 6. Robert H. Justman, in his book Star Trek The Real Story, revealed that the show's iconic theme wasn't the initial choice. Lalo Skifrin had composed a main theme, rejected by creator Bruce Jeller, who instead utilized a throwaway chase music cue from the first episode. This seemingly inconsequential musical choice evolved into one of the most famous and recognizable television show themes in history. All these insights are drawn from a reputable source, providing reliable and accurate details about Mission Impossible. In the covert world of Mission Impossible, the IMF operated under a shroud of secrecy, yet its team members were far from anonymous. Cinnamon Carter, a renowned model of the year, Roland Hand, a familiar face in the acting realm, Barney Collier, owner of an electronics firm, and Willie Armitage, a record-setting weightlifter, all played pivotal roles despite their high-profile public lives. Season 1 unveiled a distinctive narrative twist, with seven episodes featuring Briggs orchestrating missions without directly participating. In episodes like Odds on Evil and The Train, Briggs received instructions and set the stage, leaving the execution to his skilled team. During the seventh season, Linda Day George's absence, necessitated by maternity leave, was seamlessly integrated into the storyline. 
Casey, her character, was on a special assignment in Europe for the IMF, marking a rare instance of acknowledging a cast member's departure reason within the series. These insights, called from a reliable source, shed light on the intriguing dynamics of Mission Impossible, showcasing the intersection of secrecy and public prominence within the team's covert operations. All information is meticulously sourced from a reputable website, ensuring accuracy and reliability in the details provided. In specific episodes like Action, The Town and Kidnap, the routine mission structure of the IMF, team took a turn. In Action, Daniel Briggs was absent, with Cinnamon Carter receiving instructions, a unique occurrence in the first season. Meanwhile, in the town, Jim Phelps uncovered a town of assassins while on vacation, facing an unexpected threat. In Kidnap, Phelps was kidnapped and Barney Collier handled the mission details. Not all episodes follow with the standard mission format. Examples include Homecoming, Death Squad, The Condemned, and The Ransom. In Cat's Paw, the team deviated to help Barney's brother seek justice for a murder. In the third episode of the first season, titled Operation Rogosh, during agent selection for the mission, the portfolio's last photo was none other than series creator Bruce Jeller himself. Willie Armadage, a team member, stood out as one of the few non-smokers. This detail adds a distinct trait to his character, deviating from the typical spy image prevalent in the series. All the information provided is meticulously sourced from a reputable website, ensuring accuracy and reliability. These insights provide a glimpse into the unique narrative twists and character nuances that define Mission Impossible.